Hey guys, Superboy V here, and today I'm doing my top 10 favorite Pokemon video of all time video. So let's get started. Number 10 is Umbreon. So I really love Eeveelutions. I think that's like the coolest thing that Eevee gets to have all those evolutions. But the one in Gen 2, the one that stands out the most is Umbreon. It looks awesome. And it, I like how it's black with like yellow circles all everywhere. It just makes it so cool. And um, it has really cool red eyes. And it would be probably a really, really good pet. It looks, it just looks amazing. It's, aw, oh, Umbreon's just cool. Number nine, Greninja. So, this, so, when XY started, or when it came out, I was, I was in, into Pokemon, but, so, but, if I was, if they came out with Kalos starters and Pokemon Go, for example, um, there would be one I would choose. Leave it in the comments below. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll choose Froakie. One, eh, Froakie's kind of creepy, but then it evolves into Frogadier, which is really cool. Which is really cool. But Greninja, it's awesome. It really should have a Mega Evolution, because in XYZ, Ash's Greninja looks like a Mega. But then, the other two starters, um, Delphox and... Uh, I totally forgot its name, but... Chestnut, Chestnut, yeah, Chestnut. It would look odd, because I don't love Chestnut or... Fox, but I love chess pin. So, back to the topic. Greninja. I love that color scheme, red and blue. But it's like thing around its neck just makes it cooler. And it's actually one of my favorite starter Pokemon of all time. Like entirely evolved. It looks really, really cool. Number eight. Lugia. Alright, so the original three movies and taste spell of the unknown, Pokemon the movie two thousand, Pokemon the movie Pokemon the first movie. Pokemon the first movie had Mewtwo, Pokemon the movie two thousand had Lugia. And Taste Spell of the Unknown obviously had Entei. And for the and Entei and Mewtwo, they were bad guys for most of the movie. But Lugia was the good guy. I really like good guys. They're awesome. And I really do like that color scheme. It kind of looks like an angel that's um, more dangerous. Yeah. It, it just looks really cool. And it's probably one of my favorite um, legendary Pokemon. So, yeah. And its wings are huge. I really like flying Pokemon. Like Flygon. He's probably like my 11th favorite Pokemon. Number 7. Venusaur. Alright, guys. Take one look at Venusaur. It has a flower on its back. That's a palm tree with humongous vines. And he's blue. Who does not like blue Pokemon? Everyone does. So, yeah, Venusaur. I really like Venusaur. One, for all its EXs, it really looks cool. They somehow make it cool. Um, but Venusaur looks cool. It could have been better, maybe green, but I still really like it. In Bulbasaur, 
He's awesome. Bulbasaur is like the coolest Pokemon ever. Like, it has a vine, and it's adorable, along with Squirtle and Charmander. Yeah, it's just really cool. Number six, Tyranitar. So Tyranitar EX was the very first EX I got in a pack. I bought two boxes. The Xerneas tin. And the shiny Mega Rayquaza box. I don't remember what thing I got it in, but I was happy. It looked so cool. It's awesome. And when um Gen Generation 2 comes out in Pokemon Go... I hope I get a Larvitar. Seriously, I love Larvitar. He's cool. But then Pupitar is kind of scary, but it looks like a gray shield. But back to the topic, Tyranitar. And he's humongous. In the shows, he can, like, kick Team Rocket. No, if he touches them like this, like this, boop, it's going to make them flying. That's how cool he is. I just love big Pokemon. He's humongous. Number number five, Gyarados. So, Gyarados is really cool. I mean, all right, all right, all right. It's gonna, I'm going to explain it terribly, but look there. Who would not want to ride that? And I love how it always has its mouth open, like, and he's probably screaming, like, rah, rah, or something like that. And he's so long. And I really like that his car scheme, that blue car scheme, but then Mega Gyarados is awesome. It's darker blue. It has a bigger wing. It's awesome. Then Shiny Gyarados isn't my favorite, but I still really like it. It just looks too much like Magikarp. So, yeah. Everyone would r want to ride on that. That would just be the coolest, funnest thing in the universe. Number four, Zygarde. So... Fates Collide came out right when it came out. I bought four, four packs of Fates Collide with each artwork. And I opened the Zygarde pack last. And I got two Zygards. The Zygarde, uh, Zygarde Uncommon and Rare. And I was so happy. It kind of confused me that it looked different. One looks like... Uh, dog and the other one looked like an awesome slug but those colors on his chest are awesome and it's legendary pokemon i really like legendary pokemon they're really cool so sorry guys for that talking so sorry guys number three snorlax look at that i love fat pokemon it's awesome, and it's so big that it, um, that example, if I jumped on it, I'd probably go flying, way flying or more than a trampoline or something, but I really like it. It's really cool. Number two, Blastoise. You probably thought this was going to be first. Yeah. I really like turtles um but turtles with guns on its back for a shell is the coolest thing ever and in pokemon go i chose squirtle who wouldn't and i think it's the coolest thing ever number one raquaza this is the coolest thing ever i repeat this is the coolest thing ever so one it was my first dx box two I love green Pokemon. That's so cool. I mean it. That's so cool. Yeah. And its teeth. It's awesome. And he probably sounds like, yeah, or something like that. I don't know how it sounds like. But that's so cool. It's kind of weird that it has arms, but 
It's not really cool, but Mega Rayquaza is like the coolest thing ever. It's longer, probably, and it has more things on it, and it's cool. And it's one of the strongest Pokemon of all time. I mean, Emerald Break. That attack is amazing. So yeah, Rayquaz is awesome. He's my top, he's my number one favorite Pokemon of all time. So that's going to be the end of the video. Please consider subscribing and see you later, guys. Bye.